Hey guys, it's Lizzie Morris MUA and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face tutorial only using e.l.f. Cosmetics products. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I just got my primer and foundation. Everything just came in the mail. A lot of the stuff I buy is online exclusives and also um, you get points by products off the site and most of the time Elf Cosmetics has free shipping so I don't really um, I only really order a bunch of stuff when it's free I will have every single thing I uh, used in the description bar below so let's get this thing started so I have my box of all the new stuff I got and the first thing I'm gonna be trying out um, instead of using my moisturizer, which I know I love, um, this is just the Prep and Hydrate Balm. It says, this clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application. Enriched with purified water, shea, and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. So I guess this is kind of like the moisturizer in a stick form. It smells just like the moisturizer. So, let's just see how this does. Oh, it is really cooling. It definitely cooled me off a little bit because I am pretty hot right now. I'm just going to rub it in. And it's a little tacky. And that's $8, which I think the moisturizer is also $8. So, this might even last longer since it's a stick. Next um, thing I always do, and this is my all-time favorite primer, to really made my makeup go on amazingly smooth. It's the Aqua Primer Mist. This is $8 as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I just, do you see kind of like how wet my face looks? And I'm just going to push it into the skin so now while I let that dry I'm gonna do my eyebrows okay and let me have a little story with you guys so I used to always use when I first really started trying to do my brows better I was using this brow pencil by elf and I thought it was amazing at first I really do not like it now but for the sake of the video I'm going to use it because I really don't like it, but maybe we can make it work. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing to carve out my brows and prime my lids is use the e.l.f. cream contour kit. This is like $6, and look at this. I really recommend this concealer. I don't like it for my under eyes. It doesn't match me. But for priming your lids and cleaning up your brows, I 100% recommend. It's like the perfect consistency for the brush. You can always use your regular concealer. And the contour shades aren't bad at all, but I just don't really contour like that. Um, maybe I will for this video. Next, um, I don't have many e.l.f. eyeshadows. That's the only thing I really don't have. I have three cream shadows from e.l.f. I have Ain't That Sweet, Brownie Points, and Wine Not. I think I'm going to do Ain't That Sweet because I also have this baked eyeshadow that I could just put over top for it to be really shimmery. This is new. I got it today as well. A flat brush and just... Put it on the lid. And I'm going to use my Aqua Primer Mist. Spray my brush. So I'm just about to put this on the lid. Eyeshadow's done. Before I do my foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Hydrating Under Eye Primer by e.l.f. I don't really use it that much, but I mean... I feel like it makes the under eye kind of tacky, which I guess is a good thing. It's kind of like pinkish, which I would think is like canceling out the dark circles is like what it's helping with. So while I let that dry, I don't do wings anymore. Like I really don't. They just 
get on my nerves and I just go crazy because it's just so stressful doing wings but I guess for the sake of the video I will try and if I do horrible I do horrible but I'm just using I don't even remember exactly what it's called it's like the intense ink eyeliner by elf like I used to use it so much that the writing's off but it still works well part of the lid came off we may succeed and we may not I don't know if I want to do a wing. I'm so scared. I just haven't done wings in forever. And I used to always do the tape trick. And I have no tape. Okay. So this is going to look extremely bougie. And I'm like so sorry. But I have these like little stickers. And I'm literally going to use it to just make a wing. Because that's how nervous I am. And I do not want to ruin like rub my eye raw from trying to fix this wing. So it's just what we're going to do. Next thing, <laughs> now that it's been 10 minutes of doing eyeliner, I got a new Flawless Finish Foundation. I love this foundation. I'm in the shade, well, it was porcelain. Now it's called natural. It's still like the same shade. It's just a different name. We're about to apply it all over our face. And I'm just blending down my neck because it's a little too orange for me. Most foundations that have sunscreen in them will oxidize a little. Usually powder and concealer help that. So here's the foundation. And it's pretty, it's more medium than full, but it's definitely not sheer at all. It does cover up a lot of my redness. I don't really have an e.l.f. concealer besides the one in that palette, which I really do not like using for my under eyes at all. I do have this one, but it is not my shade at all. So, so just for the sake of looking decent, I'm going to use my Maybelline concealer. But that's going to be, I think, like literally the only thing not e.l.f. that I'm using because so far everything I've used is e.l.f. So... And before I blend this out, I'm going to go ahead and put the contour on. I'm just taking this little brush right here and dipping in the lightest brown shade. And I'm just getting a little small brush to do my nose and now I'm just gonna blend out the highlight first I do feel like these are really easy to blend out I like creams over powders because I'm typically more dry than oily this is a part I don't really like is the HD setting powder and it feels amazing and it looks great until you use flash but for the sake of the video I'm going to set my face with the powder so let me go get it I'll be right back okay so here it is it's the HD I think it's just the HD setting powder and I don't really bake my face but the powder is really finely milled in my opinion and it feels, it honestly feels so smooth and it makes your face so smooth and it just really helps take away the oil but it flashes back so bad so I just dipped the powder into the lid and I'm just pressing it into the skin with the beauty blender. Next thing I'm going to do see it has my hands feeling like so smooth next thing I'm going to do is bronze blush highlight and lashes and lips so um, I'm actually gonna go in with this sunkiss glow bronzer and warm tan it's a little darker so I'm just gonna take this little brush and dip it in and use it to bronze Let's give us a jawline, honey. For blush, I'm just going in with the e.l.f. 
blush and twinkle pink it's one of my faves from their blush collection and I'm just gonna use that same brush and just put it on my cheeks and next I'm gonna be doing highlight and I'm gonna since I don't really have an elf highlighter I'm gonna be using the baked eyeshadow and I'm just going to get a dense brush and spray it and put it on as highlighter and it's looking good so far I need a smaller fan brush you guys this one is way too big okay now that all that's done um, for mascara I'm gonna be trying out the waterproof length lengthening and volumizing mascara it says it's a new formula and I'm just going to curl my lashes okay so let's try this out you guys not clumpy at all it's definitely not making it thicker but it's definitely giving the volume I kind of like thickness to my lashes so it's kind of more subtle but that's okay it's not bad okay now that I'm basically finished with everything I do have the elf treat and tame um, for my brows and I really do like it so I'm just going to be going over my brows now that I'm like finished okay and the last thing I'm gonna be trying out today is this tinted lip oil um or yeah tinted lip oil and um, coral kiss which I mean matches the look a little bit I originally ordered like a nude color like um and then by the time they shipped my order they were like out of stock or something so then I ordered a bundle that had this in it and it's like off the bat very heavy and um, feels kind of high-end to be honest um, I don't think it's supposed to be like a lipstick I mean or like a lip gloss but this is the applicator so it's not like your regular applicator hmm. mm. not sticky at all I was really scared. I did a swatch earlier, and I know it's not like a regular lipstick, but I thought it was going to be sticky. And it just helped tint them just a little, not much. It just gave my lips a little color. And so lastly, um, I know it's a primer mist, but I honestly always use this as a finishing spray, and it always made my makeup look glistening and just... It makes it look really well put together so I'm just going to spray this okay you guys this is the completed look I hope you guys liked it um, if you have any other um, requests questions comments just put them below um, I plan on doing I plan on doing videos at least twice a week now and um, yeah so don't forget to like subscribe just comment anything you are interested in seeing in the future and I really love how this look turned out I definitely recommend you know most of the products I use and like I said I'll have them all linked down below so I'll see you guys next time bye